Florida took a 6-1 and one mark to Villanova. It was a homecoming of sorts for senior captain Craig Brown. The Steelton, Pennsylvania native didn't disappoint. After struggling through the first half, the second 20 minutes belonged to Brown and company. The senior sharpshooter struck for 16 second half points and set the pace for the Gators' methodical conquest. The post-holiday season offered the Gators a tropical journey to Hawaii's Rainbow Classic. But this was no pleasure trip. A first round match with 20th ranked Oklahoma State and 1993 Big 8 Player of the Year Bryant Reeves would see to that. They call Reeves Big Country for good reason. But on this day, Florida's Big D stole the show with a career high 23 points. Hill also led the team wide defensive straitjacket that held Big Country to a paltry four points. De Clerk, Anderson, Cross, and Brown held off the rest of the Cowboy contingent to score an eye-catching win for the Gators. The stakes grew even higher in the Rainbow Classic semifinals where the 11th ranked Louisville Cardinals awaited. Hill dominated the front court with 28 points and nine boards. And senior Marty Quizma also had a strong outing, but Louisville eventually won the war, blistering the Nets in the face of Florida's pressure defense. With title hopes dashed, Florida faced a tough consolation matchup with Evansville. Behind by three at the half, Dan Cross and Craig Brown jolted their team out of the doldrums. Dimitri Hill put the finishing touches on a spectacular tournament and the gritty Gator performance sealed a third place finish. Florida's Southeastern Conference opener turned out to be a classic. Trailing by 11 with 17 minutes to play, Jason Anderson kicked UF into its second half overdrive and a 24 to eight run. Anderson, he's got a couple of trays now in a row. Two to shoot, long jumper, it's in! But breathing room was hard to come by. The Tigers took Florida to the wire. Once again, Brown and Cross were up to the challenge. Rick Brown with nine, Gators on a bit of a roll now. The nerve-wracking SEC opener gave Florida a 10-2 record, its best start since the 1984-85 season. By the time Florida traveled to Knoxville to face the Tennessee Volunteers, it was becoming apparent that this Gator squad was to be taken seriously. In Thompson Bowling Arena, they found the way to win from the charity strike hitting a school and SEC record 27 of 27 free throws Florida cruised to a comfortable victory over the balls coach Kruger's club provided a thriller at St. Petersburg's Thunderdome in the rematch with South Florida where a tightly contested game gave way to another fantastic finish back to turn two scores. Florida led by 13 points with 13 minutes to play, but South Florida chipped away at the margin to force some late game Gator heroics. Anderson plays it right side to Craig Brown, in the lane, drives in, finger roll, lay up, score! Brown sideline up, drives the paint, goes in deep, leans in, 13 footer in! And they go in and tie cross up and they call a jump ball! He wants to play it in, gets it back, gets it back, cross the ball! Oh my! Dan Cross has done it again! Hard-earned win number 13 came at South Carolina. A lackluster first half put Florida in a nine-point hole to start the final period. But Brian Thompson sparked a 30-12 run to begin the second stanza. Now 
down low right. Hill steals the ball. Dimitri steals it to cross. A run out to Thompson, and he'll dunk it. Oh, my. Coach, you need a T.O. Thompson's better set, dribble right of the lane, kicks it back to the clerk. The clerk drives down in, shoots it off the glass and scores. And was the Gamecocks down weren't down finished the- yet and cut the lead to just three in the final minutes. Despite Brown's 20-point outing, the game came down to a hectic final play. All right, Rich looks to lob it in, looks to throw it in. He holds and holds and holds, gets at the hall in the corner, and that's it. Game's over. After a close call at South Carolina, the Gators leaped out of the frying pan and into the fire. Seventh-ranked Kentucky was next on the docket. The Wildcats would challenge the Gators in front of ESPN's cameras and a record-setting O-Dome crowd of 12,221. It was a season-making kind of game for the Gators. The nation asked if this upstart Florida team was for real. The answer was a resounding yes. The ball. Brown picks it up. Right jumper, 18 The Gators came out on top of a first-half siege behind a salvo of cross praise. Thompson in deep to the court, kicks it off the cross, 4-3. But things weren't clicking offensively for Florida. And an eight-minute scoring drought to begin the second half might have spelled their doom. But the Gators turned up the D's another notch. Defense and DeClerc. Florida crawled back into the game, finally tying things up with just over two minutes to play. Brown has been held to four points tonight. Brown drives left of the lane, 16 foot in. Yes! Front, cross, backs down on four, goes in the lane, shoots a shot, rimming good. Dan Cross. From there, it was a war to hold on. Jumper, it's rimming, it's good for three. Travis Ford is knocked in a long jumper. He shoots it up, and it is good. Perhaps the single most significant win in the Milan Kruger era, if the Gators can hold on. Number two. Right through to Travis Ford. Ford on the trot, comes into the half court, works the ball out front, and the Gators make the foul out front. Ford shooting into a sea of waving arms. Shoots it up. He's got it. Now he must miss, and the Gators must not allow Kentucky a rebound. 59, 57, he misses badly. He rebounds it. The ball tips. McCarty takes it back. Shoots the shot up. It's so good. Gators win. Gators win. Gators win. Florida had a two-game lead in the SEC Eastern Division. The Gators had their best start in 53 years. And more important, they had the respect of the basketball world. Florida was for real. Well, the Kentucky win was, was very big because, uh, you know, I think Kentucky sets the standard in a lot of ways for basketball in the Southeastern Conference as well as the country. They've got that tremendous tradition. They've got the outstanding program in place. Uh, Rick uh, does a great job with the program. Uh, the players play so hard with such a great awareness. And to, to step out and, and beat them, you know, is, is kind of a reinforcement to our players that, hey, we can do this. We can get this done. Just days after Florida's dream game, Alabama delivered a jolting wake-up call in Tuscaloosa. Bama simply out-rebounded, out-shot, and outscored the stunned Gators. Greg Brown's 20 points weren't nearly enough to turn back the Crimson Tide. The Gators fell to only their third defeat in 17 games. Another road game versus Georgia gave the Gators a chance to get back into the swing of things in a big way. Cross and Brown continued their prolific backcourt play, combining for 40 points, 14 assists, and 8 steals. Look it. Brown drives on Jones, baseline 15-footer, yes. Wiesma turned in a season-high 16-point performance. Down and deep, beautiful feed to Marti. Marti throws it off the glass and scores. He was falling down. In all, five Gators scored in double figures to cap the 100-point effort and a convincing 22-point victory over the rival Bulldogs. Next up, Vanderbilt, and the Commodores tested the Gators' medal from the opening tip-off. After a topsy-turvy 34 minutes of play, Vandy led 58-55. to But again, in the clutch, Florida answered with a critical rally. Multiple Gators contributed to the decisive run. Gators take the lead. They alley-oop it to the clerk, and he scores on the inbound alley-oop. 
Ryder goes back in his own. Out front to cross between the circles. Dan penetrates in deep. Pulls up eight-foot jumper. Yes. He knifed right in the heart of the defense and stuck a dagger in. And the Gators now lead by six. In the paint to Hill. Kicks it out. Brown. Four three. Yes. Brett Brown. Four three. Jason Anderson, one of five Gators who scored in double figures, punctuated the impressive victory and gave his team a 16-3 record, the best start in school history. The Gators cracked the top 25 and grabbed sole ownership of the SEC's Eastern Division. Another one bites the dust. Next, the Gators welcomed the Auburn Tigers to Gainesville. Winless in the SEC, the Tigers came to town in the role of spoilers. After maneuvering through 12 lead changes, Auburn grabbed a one-point advantage on a trio of threes with less than two minutes remaining. But Dan Cross put up the final pair of his 20 points to regain the lead for Florida. Up good. Dan Cross has got 20. A chaotic finish ensued. They get the ball to Flanagan, back to Person. Person's going to try and win the game for Auburn. He works out front. He's wide of the lane. He comes up firing. 20-footer is on the way. Rimming, no! It's no good! And the ball is tipped. It's no good! Game's over! The narrow escape brought Florida to an 8-0 record in games decided by five points or less. Finally missed his tip in, and the Gators have survived! Oh, my! Woo! Well on his way to all-conference first-team honors, Dan Cross was named SEC Player of the Week after a pair of outstanding performances in wins over Georgia and Vandy. And his play against Mississippi State would lock up the honors for a second consecutive week. The Bulldogs romped to a 12-0 lead and held a five-point advantage at the half. Florida's defense was more itself in the second half and the shot started falling. Right of the lane, Hill. Hill jump hook on the way, yes! Gators lead by three. Running, uh-uh. Rebound, tip, taken down by Craig Brown. He's on the ground, he throws it out to Cross. Cross loads for three, yes! Gators, 62. Bulldogs, 59. A late run brought the Bulldogs within two with time running out. Then Cross reached into his bag of tricks once again, nailing points number 24, 25, and 26 to put it out of reach. Oh my! With one second left, Dan Cross, oh my! Cross the rebound. Hill closed the deal with a stylish exclamation point. things happening You're awfully proud for you awfully proud for you. You, you, you hung in there and figured out a way huh heck of a job <laughs> hey Phil good. 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 I feel pretty good good satisfaction right there put your hands right in here here you go <laughs> proud of you yeah. proud of you